Benoit, Mandelbrot, and Fractals. Fractals are figures in which a part of the figure reflects the whole figure. In other words, a part is a replica of the whole. Another definition. Fractals are systems, parts of which are similar to the whole. This is taken from Fractal Structure of the Universe by Yuri Barashev and Pekka Keyerikorpi. One example of a fractal is a Russian doll Matryoshka, where each successive doll resembles the previous one. The concept of fractals was known to ancients. A philosopher from ancient Greece, Hermes Trismegistus, is known for saying, Know then the greatest secret of the universe, as above, so below, as within, so without. The quote is taken from his book, The Emerald Tablet, and in it, Hermes expounds the idea that there is a correspondence between macrocosm, the big, and microcosm, the small. This quote is taken from a blog by Sam Wolf. The person who coined the term and started the study of fractals from a mathematical point of view is Benoit Mandelbrot. One of the best movies explaining his work is The Colors of Infinity, narrated by Arthur C. Clarke. The universe is structured in a fractal manner. Hence, fractals should be added to modern dialectics. This property is at least on the same level of universality as the three basic laws of Hegelian dialectics, which are 1. The law of the negation of the negation, 2. The struggle and unity of the opposites, 3. A quantity passing into quality. In fact, it is this symmetry between different levels of the universe that makes the Hegelian laws of dialectics possible, as different levels of matter and energy exhibit the same general laws. So, in my opinion, this property stands over Hegelian laws of dialectics. One of the most important fractals, in my opinion, is not the Mandelbrot set, but the spiral or the vortex. It is a shape repeated in the most important processes of the universe, such as knowledge, revolutions, etc. In the examples here, you can see a spiral in some of the more important processes and structures in our world. Fractal nature of the universe makes harmony between different spheres of existence possible. Fractals are a kind of symmetry existing in nature. Symmetries can show us how one part functions if we know how its sister part is. The mathematics of symmetries should be a part of educational curriculum. Fractals are beautiful and universal. That's the reason fractals, in the shape of spirals, 
serve as patterns for the Tatlin Tower in 1919 and the Guggenheim Museum of Art in 1959. Theory of fractals merges into theory of beauty. Thank you for watching.